for me, I've never been really crazy about formation. You know? Whether you're playing 3-4-3 three, three, or 4-4-2 four, four, or 4-3-3, four, three, three. it's the mentality that the players take into these games that is very important. You know? If they listen to, to the coaching of the manager, to the philosophy of the manager, everybody knows what to do when they get to the pitch, then the chance of being successful is there. But we all know in football, a lot of errors do cost teams. You know? If we do less errors, if we create enough, we have players to create chances. Igalo, and Memusa, Alexi Wubi, uh, John Igalo, Mikel is back in the team, Mundid is there. We're very solid in the midfield. Even in defense, we can't say the likes of Balogo, Emeru, Kong. These are very experienced players, you know. So, my only worry is the goalkeeper areas, you know. But if we can score, we can co cover for the goalkeepers we have, you know. But if we go there and play as a team, attack and defend, because these games have to be very tactical. You, countries like Cameroon, we all know what they did two years ago. Defended well, very well, and punished teams on the counter. Teams we still try to play the same way. So, so we have to go there and play cleverly. If we can score goals, you know, then I don't think, well, I think even against Egypt, even against these Moroccan, these North African teams, you know, with the pacey players we have in the team, like Admin Musa, especially. If Admin Musa is in form, I think it's going to be a plus for the team. Yes, uh, former Super Eagles. This is former, right? Yeah, this is, yeah, this is former. <laughs> former, <laughs> retired. Yeah. Retired. retired. Well, there's no doubt about it. Victor mm -hmm. Weber has talked about how our mentality has to be right. He talks about how the Eagles have to be clever, mm. you know, uh, Which is to very excel. Key. Uh, yeah. In Egypt, I, I totally agree. Clever uh, in what way? Uh, tactically, uh, yeah, tactically, mm. tactically, and well, we love to say this in Nigeria. We also have to believe that we can, and mm. we've seen it work in the past, especially in 2013. Nobody gave us a chance, True. being that we missed 2012, came into 2013 with a lot lots of, of home-based players, a lot of debutants, mm. and. Yet we went all the way and won the tournament. We didn't even start to start it slowly. Yeah. So this time around, it's, it's, the competition is expanded, mm. but take nothing away from it. it it's still almost, almost the same thing, just an extra game. Now, when you look at our group, uh, Burundi, Guinea, uh, Madagascar, Madagascar, you expect Nigeria to qualify, even mm. top that group. Mm. Now, if they top that group, they get to play a team that finishes third. And mm. so you expect an easy fixture, although easy there's a course. problem there yeah. because there's a certain group D. <laughs> uh, that has Ivory Coast, uh, Morocco, and South Africa. So we can beat if, all of them. The no, oh, no, point is, if a third place team comes from that group, then you is know it, that the round of 16 fixture would be. Not the Cote d'Ivoire we know four years ago. Then we it gets a that. lot more complicated. And I Nigeria, see, uh, we are what? We have better players right now. now. <laughs> I, I see what, what, you, what <laughs> you're saying. Let's listen to Gennaro. Right? Right. Okay. Yeah, right. I mean his chances and what he's thinking ahead of the Nations Cup. Yes, it can be a good prediction. Uh, even when I made uh, the Afcon with Gabon, we started with a 0 0 in the first game, and then we won our three games in the group. We won uh, Niger, we won Morocco, we won Tunisia. So I hope it will be the same. There will be another game against Senegal. The result is not the most important in the test games like this, but we are unbeaten now since one year and we want to stay unbeaten and to go in the first match against Burundi with a good mind, a good, good hope and of course a good confidence. And uh, then if everybody's working well, I think we can come out of this group and then we have to see match by match, but for the moment the most important is the first match. Burundi, because it's the first match. It's all the time the most difficult to enter in the competition and to win the first match. Everybody is fresh, the newcomers have nothing to lose, and we must be uh, very focused on this game. Rundi has a good team, unbeaten in the qualifiers, making a very good parkour in these qualifiers, having very good players also playing in England, playing in Europe, playing in South Africa. No, it will not be easy, but uh, we are Nigeria, and now we made the World Cup. We are one of the five teams who have this World Cup experience. From my 23, there are 15 players who made the World Cup. So this experience can help us. Yeah, you know that uh, we are not the first in the ranking of African football. We have teams like Senegal, like Tunisia, like Morocco, 
like uh, Egypt, of course, at home is Mohamed Salah, who can uh, pretend to win it. You have also the Cameroon team, which is coming in a high level now again. You have also all the time a surprise. It can be a team which never can attend. So we will see uh, match by match. And uh, we are not the favorite for me. Favorite number one is Egypt at home. And then uh, Senegal, and then uh, Morocco, Tunisia. We are, I hope, in the, in the five teams who can pretend. All right, well, he said it all. Let's take a look at the papers now, right? Okay. Okay, nothing much to add. I'll start with the sporting son here. Okay. V A R O Spiracy. What's this? Vaspiracy. 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 That's what you have uh sporting son there talking about the questionable officiating robs of Falcons. That this is coming from not a sporting Sicilia, son. Not from Sicilia. Yeah, not from Sicilia. Okay. Sporting son. I mean not from it's me. Make it make it clear. It's there. <laughs> Ahead now. of our from five <laughs> Eagles players, Eel, oh. Tim Arise, mm. Alexandra. This is uh worrying. Uh, you have the pictures of the players here. Uh, the sick the, ones, the, the, the ill ones. The ill okay. ones. Man, this is not funny at all. Uh, not good. Not and a good one. Contrasting numbers. And also contrasting, co contrasting numbers. Contrasting numbers, rather. Because on, on some sports state 10, in life, yeah. it says 10 eagle stars yeah. sick. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, that's right. the one you have on sports in life. Okay, continue with the sporting song here, which uh, Barcelona opened to 120 million Griezmann move and PSG president tells Neymar to shut up. <laughs> and uh -huh. Shut up and play. <laughs> shut up. Snobs. United, who's going to play in Europe? I doubt it. there's any. Yes, yeah, tough. It's about Manu, money. Inter Milan, Agri, Lukaku, Fi, Burundi are toughest test. This is coming from Gennett Raw. Okay, mm. let's Nigerians not hear this. <laughs> uh, the next one is okay, just go over to uh, Sports in Life. Some, yes, uh, Nigeria 0, France uh, 1, Falcons are 4 to penalty goal. We talked about it extensively already. Guinness culture fought, uh, put, I think, a pardon, seeks uh, vengeance against uh, Nigeria. Uh, Chelsea reject. 35 million pounds uh, for uh, William and Tristan. And Nigeria versus Burundi. Uh, 10 Eagle star sick. Rock panics over depleted squad. <laughs> suspected virus from hotel. I, hair conditioners and team storm. Mm. Uh, stay in Alexandria uh, already. So They are just re uh, reacting. Mm. And you know it's hazy in Egypt. Mm. Uh, and these guys are coming from cold regions. So. so there's nothing to be worried about, really? Yeah, they will adapt. They will, so you get, uh, they will so acclimatize. So you shouldn't be afraid that we will not have 10 players on Friday. Nah, everybody yeah. will be fit except they are injured. Mm. Okay. Like, yeah. properly injured. But yeah. All right. Okay. Madrid wants Pogba by July uh, 1st. Mm -hmm. uh, PSG 200% sure begins. Uh, Mbappe will stay. Mm. Uh, PSG will let Leymar leave if... We don't know why. Good money comes. Good money comes, yeah. right? And Juventus make last gas attempt oh, for Pogba. the late. Oh, the late. Yeah. Wow, you <laughs> I think he should go to Barca if I was him. And mm. for Pogba, uh, it's looking likelier that Real Madrid wants him. And mm. it's between very few clubs if they are to sign Pogba. That's Real well. Madrid, UV, and maybe PSG. Yeah. But the reason they want him on July 1 is, you, you know, the Premier League transfer window closes quite early. That's yeah, the first week of August. August. And so you wouldn't let your best player leave towards the close of the transfer window, knowing that you can't sign a replacement. So for Spain, they'll need to do their business with English teams quite early and before they go into preseason. Okay, let's go to the last one now, which is a complete sport this morning. Aino says Eagles are raring to go. Burundi won Eagles again. Uh, after, they lost to Tunisia 2 on a friendly. Yeah. So yeah, uh, Galan Falcons go down more. fighting. And Chukwe is a calm over transfer hype. And this one, PSG, nobody forced Neymar to sign. What's this Neymar <laughs> issue everywhere? Neymar, Neymar, yeah. Neymar. Neymar bringing more trouble than yeah. good, so to trouble speak. Trouble or drama? I think I'll use drama. Okay, let's use drama. Like trouble. Mbappe, I, I saw a, a okay. publication where uh, lots of demands, that Mbappe was making lots of demands. Yeah. And he replied the tweet and said, you forgot to mention that I also want to be the goalkeeper. Essentially Take tweet. denying. <laughs> yes. It's not going anywhere. Reports. And Neymar wouldn't even do that. So like, oh, okay. this is nice for me. Maybe you, my money is coming my way. <laughs> <laughs> I get hey, what you friend, Thank you so much for coming on yeah, the program. Yeah, it's a pleasure. Wrap it up. Appreciate yes. it. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Let's pray for the Falcons. Absolutely. Oh, wait till friends. Friday and see if they can get into the round of 16. It's a long wait anyway. Well, yeah. thank you guys for joining us. I'm Cecilia. I'm Taya Salam. Enjoy the rest of your day.